Hi, I'm Sharon Eddings, and I'm the founder and CEO of Code with Sharon. I really want to thank you for this opportunity for small businesses owned by women such as mine. Um, and what Code with Sharon does, we're located in the state of Michigan. Um, I, I'm a self-taught coder. Um, I started to volunteer um, in my son's school to teach him and his classmates how to code. I wanted everybody to learn about coding. And that's where I saw a niche in the market, a gap in the market, that the software that uh, Michigan schools or Detroit public schools, and, and I found out other schools, it just was inferior. And so I decided to develop my own software. I ended up walking away from my career as an automotive um, software engineer. I got that job after eight months of training myself how to code. It really changed my life. It changed everything about the, the things that I needed. I needed health care for my son. He was born very sickly. I wanted a career for myself that gave me some sense of pride. I wanted to have, of course, more wages. Who doesn't? And that's what Code with Sharon wants to give our students the opportunity just to learn a skill set, to learn the fundamentals about a skill set that can drastically change their lives like it changed mine. And so um, as we pivoted to virtual learning uh, online classes so that we can navigate through COVID, stay in business, and keep the doors open, one of our biggest struggles is how do we serve as our contract? How do we be able to provide the contract work on a 60-day net and be able to pay our contractors on, on a bi-weekly basis so that we can retain them, uh, attract them, retain them, and then be able to be consistent with them so they don't have to wait for us to get paid 60 days to pay them. And so with this um, grant, this will give us the opportunity, and then we will be able to hire more people, scale, and then we will be able to um, provide our services to more school districts in the state of Michigan. And the goal is to, uh, of course, scale up to other school districts in other states. And so we just want to really thank you for this opportunity.